So many people come to the edge of the known and the body has to release information. And if you're sitting in a meditation and your body is just wanting to be in pain, you've conditioned it that way. And if you become conscious of doing that and begin to apply a formula that we'll teach you this weekend, you are training the body back into the present moment. And every time you go a little further, that's a victory. And every time your body wants to get up and quit and give up and that program starting to run and you become aware of it and you bring the body back down into the present moment and you tell it it's no longer the mind, that you're the mind, now you're executing a will that's greater than the program and you're training the animal. Are you with me still? And then it gets bucks and kicks and it gets angry and it says, listen, why don't you just get agitated? Why don't you just quit? You're not a good meditator. You're a failure. And it's just looking for something. And you become aware that you're doing that and you settle the body back down of that, out of that aroused emotional state. Would you agree then? If you did that over and over again, you were telling the body that it was no longer the mind, that you were the mind. Yes or no? And you were training the animal. That's a victory. And those victories add up, I swear to you. Sooner or later, the body is going to realize it's no longer the mind, that finally you are the mind. That you are back on the throne and it is going to relax into the present moment. And when it does, that heart of your bl blows open and you release energy. Your field around your body begins to emanate more light and information. Now, you feel connected to something greater. And I want you to trust the process of going a little further and working with your body and becoming aware of it because so many people say, I can't focus, I can't meditate. That's the only thought they have to get beyond. That's it. And we'll teach you a formula. And if you just apply the formula, you'll get better at it. Now, some people have meditated for 40 or 50 years or 30 years or 20 years. I respect that. And all I want you to do is just try what we've been able to isolate as a formula and use the same kind of ability that of sitting still and, and closing your eyes and getting present and just try something new. Anywhere you can place your attention, I'm going to ask you to place it right there. And where you place your attention is where you place your energy. And I want you to feed that center with your attention. You're going to learn how to breathe life into it and arouse and awaken this center. And once that center begins to open up and your body starts to trust and you relax and that autonomic nervous system begins to cause the heart to beat more orderly, that field around your body begins to expand up to three meters wide. Now that field, that energy is information. That frequency is carrying information and now you begin to interfere with everybody's energy in this room and those waves start to resonate and synchronize and the, the amplitudes start going up and the higher the wave, the higher the amplitude, the higher the energy in the room. So then tuning into new potentials, finding the sweet spot of the generous present moment, moving from space-time into time-space and understanding the science behind it. And I'll stretch you a little bit. And I want you to just repeat it. You're going to get it. You just got to reach for it. You're, you're going to want to go and do it. And that's one of the cool things about our community. We're doers. That our, our community does the work. They, they're, they're a living organism. They're connected by a very specific frequency, specific energy. They're all doing the same things. They're all, they're all overcoming the same conditions. They're all uh, applying the same formula. And they're connected by an invisible field. They, and, and this living organism, we heal one another. That's what we do. And we've healed a lot of people. And now, it's getting so good that they don't even need to be in the presence of that person. I mean, we're talking about just having a picture because they understand when they're truly in the quantum there's no separation it's the realm of thought they're just the thought away there's the thought is the connection they understand that and we have people instead of watching dancing with the stars imagine this they're actually convening in these groups these 
coherence healing groups, hundreds and hundreds of people. And they're working on different people that are in hospitals, in comas, coming, the people are coming out of comas. Babies that will have zero percent chance of survival are normal now. I mean, crazy stuff. They're, they are interested in mastering that. They're interested in getting good at it. That's the next level of a formula. But the living organism, we heal one another. We inform one another. We connect with one another. We support one another. We love one another. We shine for one another so others can shine. And so we have so much evidence to tell you that you could change in a very short amount of time. We have eight genes that were changed in those four days that suppress cancer growth and tumors, that create neurogenesis, the growth of new neurons in the brain, that activate stem cells to go to damaged tissues and literally become new cells, very same cells. The genes that for oxidative balance, anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-heart disease, anti-stroke, anti-inflammatory, anti-neurodegenerative, those genes activated just in four days. Genes, the microtubules, the cellular structures of the cell, the skeletons of the cell reconstructed. That was just the ones that were in common in the people that we studied. They all had their own individual ones. That when you begin to feel gratitude and that you not only just are grateful for the things that you have, but for the things you're going to have, and you can condition your body into feeling that emotion, your body believes it's happening to you in the present moment. It's, you're in the state of receiving. That in that state, your immune system, it improves by 50%. It's better than any flu shot. It is. That particular immunoglobulin is the body's natural flu shot. And you could, bacteria and molds and viruses and are all memorized and there's an internal army, a cadence, a rhythm and an order. The person is moving out of survival. They're putting less of their attention on the outer world where the danger is. And they're not, they're not, they're not mobilizing all this energy for the threat in their outer world. They're, they're actually giving the body a chance to cause their inner world to begin to restore and repair. Four days. They just traded suffering. They traded pain. They traded anger, frustration, resentment. They traded it. They traded that for gratitude and love and, and a joy for existence. And they're conditioning their body. And they put their attention on their heart. They place their attention on it. They understand petal by petal is that life force that's going to cause it to bloom. And wow, some people get so good at it that their heart blows wide open. Our students produce sometimes 200 times the amount of oxytocin in just four days. Oxytocin signals nitric oxide and nitric oxide signals a chemical called endothelial derived relaxing factor and it just means those arteries the muscular lining around those arteries when the heart is constricted and in fear they open up and now energy and blood rush right into the heart it's physiological and their heart is full and with the same intensity when blood flows and energy flows into your sexual organs the first center it's flowing into the fourth center and this is a different energy this is a different mind this is selflessness this is wholeness this is feeling so whole it's impossible to want how could you want when you feel like you have everything a person now is is blessed in the moment and they're less interested in anything out there bringing them joy or, or making them feel pleasure they, they want more of whatever just happened to them inside and I have stood next to men and in one instant, one instant with stage four colon cancer, this man sees his whole future. He sees the entire outcome. It wasn't like he was visualizing anything. He got the download. He saw that future. He saw the doctor coming in with the lab coat and the tie, the specific color. He sat down, told him to test how they were all normal. 
And they hugged him and his wife was there and he came out of this meditation and said, I know I'm going to be better. And she said, oh, that's so good. You're thinking possibly. He's like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> but it was love that took him into that future. Do you understand? It was the energy of that heart that was actually driving a whole new set of thoughts. It was creating in that moment. This is the creative center. This is the center of one. This is the union of duality, polarity. This is wholeness. Wow.